Thank you, thank you. Um, oh, I'm not going to show it to you now. When I turned around, I saw my plastic now. But his invention, and I want you to look him up. The invention was he turned plastic into fuel. You with me? Let me on board. Thank you, thank you. How is everybody this evening? Great, great. I'm very grateful to be here. I want everybody to know I am I was born and raised in uh, Tennessee, but my family, my grandparents, the whole other half of my family right here in Natchez. Every summer or Thanksgiving or Christmas, me and my family, we drive from Atlanta. It was an eight hour drive. Come over here to visit. I say that to say, I come from the same place all of you are right here. Now you may know me online as Nature Jab. My name is Julian Brown and I've garnered much attraction over the past many years for innovating microwave pyrolysis. Now, by a show of hands, everybody, somebody tell me, have you ever heard of microwave pyrolysis? No. Well, what the heck is that? <laughs> well, microwave pyrolysis is when you turn, take plastic waste and you turn it into fuel. We all know how our oceans look, how the litter looks in our world. And I saw a problem at a very young age. As a matter of fact, I was still in school. I was in a senior, senior in high school in a welding program, and I knew that there was a huge problem in this world that needed a solution, the plastic waste problem. So I started to construct a machine that could do something with plastic waste. And I've been documenting my journey online for years and years. But what brings me here, what brings me here is this school is a school I wish I had when I was in school. Because this school goes so much deeper than just your typical school. This school is teaching you the mindset, properties, the character building, all the traits necessary to let you know that just like how I saw a problem and I wanted to bring a solution, you can too. And every single one of you are just as capable, if not more capable than I've ever been to do great things for this world. So I was in high school in a welding program and I started to build my first ever microwave pyrolysis reactor. And I started to turn plastic waste into fuel. This year, a little bit earlier this year, I ran for the first time ever a truck off of the plastic fuel I made. I've run some other engines too, like weed whackers, lawnmowers, etc. And what that lets you know, and that lets us all know, is that what we've been told is not always the case. It's, you can think outside the box. Your potential is limitless. With what I'm doing, this chemistry, this complex chemistry and engineering, everybody would tell you, okay, in order to do this, you need to have a degree. You need to have a, a ton of backing with money. Well, let me tell you guys something. I started this in high school, and I've still been working on it. I have not gone to university because I realized that, what, that this mission of turning plastic into fuel needs to be done as soon as possible. So I took that, took what I knew, and I applied myself, understanding the importance of where we are in this world. All the young people in here, all the kids, I'm talking to you right now when I'm telling you that you are going to be the problem solvers of this world. You 
are going to be the ones. Every problem you see, no matter how big it seems or how little it seems, you are going to be the one to create a solution for that because we all are capable. NASA, we all know what NASA is, right? They create the rockets to go to space where they did a study where they found that pretty much everybody between the age of one to five has all the traits to be a genius. We all are geniuses. It's all about tapping into that potential. And it's absolutely possible no matter what age you are. So I want everybody to remember that um, above anything else. And it does not matter what anybody says around you. If you see something that needs to be done in this world and you want to solve it, you can do it, no matter how young you are. And I see the potential in everybody in this room tonight. Now, as stated before, I recently been granted $100,000 towards my project from Alexis Ohanian, the husband of Serena Williams, the tennis player. Now that did not come easily. I have applied for this grant three times and I've been working on my project for almost four years. What is that? That is perseverance. That is the most important trait that anybody who wants to accomplish world-changing things needs. What is perseverance? That is never giving up, no matter what happens. I have had many hardships through this project. I've had a few house fires. I've recently survived an explosion of my machine that burned my legs <laughs> horribly. But it's okay, because if there's one thing that's worth doing is what you're passionate about and something you know will help and heal the world. And to me, that's turning plastic waste into fuel. But all of you have a different mission, a different purpose. And whatever it is, I want you to persevere. Whatever your mission is, never give up. Never let anybody tell you otherwise, and you will solve it. This school has a great model, the four C's. Communication, collaborating, creativity, and of course, going into all of these four C's, these are things that we must apply because they, are, they tap into every section of innovation and every section of thinking. And that's what I love about this school because this school is teaching you things that go far beyond just a job, that go far beyond just learning. This, this school is teaching the youth at a very young age, in that stage where we're all geniuses, the things that they need to do even better things than what I have done, even better things than anybody in history has done. So going back to, as I said from the beginning, I have roots here in Natchez, just like every last one of you. So. If I did it, you can do it, you will do it, you will go even further than I have. So the one thing I want everybody to remember, other than be persevering, is just like Nas said, I know I can, I know I can. be what I want to be. Thank you.